Ashley. And I'm Will. And this is the Chas Broadcast. And we're here to give you the news. Inside and outside the school community. But now, let's take a look at the weather. Turning out of weather. And now on to uniform with Lindsay. Let's check out how to spice it up but still stay in uniform. I spice up my uniform with my headband. I wear this beautiful basketball jacket oh, yeah. every day. This is Bracelets, tights, like oh, yeah. tights. Oh, yeah. and shirts underneath. And shirts underneath. They're blue and they're from J. Crew and they're my favorite. Recently went to Five Below and purchased five notorious B.I.G. pins for five dollars. And if you notice, each of my sport jackets has a notorious B.I.G. pin on it. Um, I spice up my uniform by wearing flashy shoes and bright ties. I spice up my uniform with a scar. My favorite one. It's pink. And pink is beautiful. Turning out of uniform. And on to the movie review. I can't wait to see what I thought about Coraline. This month, we have a new animated movie by the director of Nightmare Before Christmas, Coraline. Coraline is a fantasy film about a young girl who's bored with her new house, but as she finds a secret door to the other world, she finds a place of paradise, but not as all as it seems. Like, what was your favorite animated part? Well, I think a lot of the parts where they're in the uh, other world just where they demonstrate a lot of the animation was pretty spectacular. Mm, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it especially like because they had like the different animals and the different like people. Mm -hmm. Because even the animation in the real world was good. But when Coraline entered the other world, all the characters seemed to be more Tim Burton-esque with spider-like legs and bat-like wings. And it really looked good for where the movie was going. Also, um, the storyline was good. I think, but the animation really kind of seemed to take precedence over it at a lot of points. This is not a Cinderella story. It is a very dark story. Like, what did you think when you saw this? Oh, I thought, I was just thinking, like, I don't understand how this got a PG rating and all this. I, I don't understand. There's, like, there's spiders, violence, there's physical harm. There's just so many. I wouldn't take two-year-olds or toddlers. I, I wouldn't take, like, a six-year-old to this movie yet. This is a movie, I'd say maybe nine at the youngest. Dude, there were dead kids in this movie. It was ridiculous. So that was our review for Coraline. Check us out next time at Will Squared Reviews. Five years? That's crazy! But now, let's take a look at what TV does to adolescents. Like an hour? Look, zero. Hour, zero. Oh, okay. I think about like an hour and a half. Anywhere between an hour and two hours. I do not watch TV. About maybe an hour? Three hours. hours. Like one. Six to nine hours? <laughs> one hour. Uh, a lot. I'm not sure, I've never seen a television show in my entire life. Ken Montana and Drake Josh. Well, I watch Gossip Girl. American Life. Now I'm never going to watch TV again. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Tune in next time. Stay classy.